All right. Well, Antonio, welcome. And thank you for taking the time to chat with me about Chasing Wonders. Um, I watched the film a couple of weeks ago. It's definitely a heartwarming coming of age uh, tale. We follow a young boy who embarks on a journey of understanding and forgiveness when it comes to his father in particular. Um, yeah. And just tell us a little bit about your role in the film. Uh, I, I would say that Felipe is a man that is hiding to himself the, his true feelings uh, about the feeling guilty because he has a lost. Uh, we don't, I don't want to talk so much about that because people need to discover it during the movie. But the thing is, we, 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 we don't understand this man, what's happened, what's wrong with him, why is he so protective, why he's so obsessive with uh, all around his uh, little boy. But, but everyone has his reason and Felipe has. He's a man uh, searching for, 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 for redemption like probably everybody else do. It's interesting because I think from the very first frames when you first meet Felipe, you know that there's something behind the scenes there. There's something sort of bubbling under the surface that we don't quite find out until later on in the film, um, as yeah. you just referenced. Um, I, I, I tell you, I, I used to love, for me, for, for an actor, uh, the most interesting when you are uh, facing a role is is, is, is when you are saying something and you are showing something, but something different is happening inside. I, I used to say that it would happen in real life happens. I know it's not a user that you see one man, obviously it's if, if it's a friend uh, know about, but you see some people and say, how are you? I'm fine and fine, but probably just coming from a divorce, just right. coming from being, being, being fired. That you know, we used to say something different than that we feel, and and and, and for me, this is uh, the 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 principle or material for, for working as an actor. Is that difficult as an actor to portray? I, I don't know. I think I think it's an interesting question. Uh, uh, how could I tell you? I, I, I would say that you don't have to know. Uh, I mean. I love that movies, uh, you know, Mike Lee, uh, or, or, or Ken that kind of movie. When, when I don't know, have you seen Secrets and Lies? I've not. Oh my God, this is as but you are jump. No, but it's 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 a, it's a movie. I think I think my memory is correct. It was shooting during the nineties or the beginning of the of the twenty first century. Okay. It's story. This is story about a family of redemption. But the interesting thing is. At one point, something very, very that move you, that shake you, happened during the movie. That day, the actress, the, the leading role, um, Brenda Blatty, I know Brenda Blatty, uh, and I will remember the the, the 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 two leading actresses. They discovered that day that what happened, and oh. it was interesting for her, yes, because they would, because I think the most difficult as an actor is when you know. If you know, it's, 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 a, it's a problem. Do you know what I mean? Because in a, in a way that you don't know, you tend to do something. Probably it's something difficult to, to explain that, but what oh, I really sense. mean that people in normal, in normal life, in the situation that used to happen in the movie, you know, conflicts, uh, real problems, <laughs> no, no, our body lives, uh, uh, people don't know how to react. Yeah. And for me, it's a lesson as an actor. I tell you, in a lot of interview, people ask me here in Spain, and I know I'm, 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 I'm well known. And people ask me about what would you do if you were, what would you do if you were, and, and I always say, I don't fucking know. Sorry, sorry for <laughs> not your mind. <laughs> I, I don't really know because you don't know what happened. It's for me. This is the the, the answer to your question. Sorry for for all the circles no, that, that they made. Is that you don't know, we, I remember, um, uh, uh, and I remember one actor with that was uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. He said, uh, he said once in one interview I read, I never uh, repeat the same take. I always do another one, another different one. Okay. So and, uh, obviously there's a different level between him, so he's uh, a legend, uh, uh, Cutting piece and, 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 and me, but 
I would try that. Uh, I, would, I would define myself as an actor that I never, I always try to do something different. Sure. And, you know, to try to, to create that what's happened in the scene is like, it's happening now, here and now. I remember in my school, I would say for no talk to my, we used to learn the method. Let's take that. Sure. And I remember my, my, my master, she, she used to say, so it's here and now, it's here and now. So, so don't think, don't try to, when a director said me, Antonio, that's great. Let's do another one, the same that you did. And I said, no, 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 this is the past. I'm sorry. Isn't it? So now we can do another one. And, and I, could, I, could, I could walk from the same path, but never say an actor do the same because uh, it's, it's, it's something that is something that happened. You know what I mean? Sure. You have to be very, very, very open. And, and for me, they are the art of acting or the secret of acting. Or I think it's, it's, it's being confident that you can feel it, that you have been opened and, and, and see what happened. This is, yeah. you know, something magical. Um, have you seen The Joker? I um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I saw some uh, related scenes in Joker. Apparently, he, um, um, Joking Phoenix, uh, make absolutely crazy Robert De Niro because he, in all the scene when, when they are in the show, do you remember that scene? And he used to all the time changing the, 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 the space where, where he was coming in. And Robert De Niro said, what the fuck is happening in now? <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. It's I, I love that actors. I, lo I, I, I love the, the actors that you don't know what the, what the hell they are going to do next. <laughs> <laughs> this thing, they, they are my idols. I guess that makes you more, it makes it, you're on your feet as an actor when you're responding to that type of acting. And uh, I guess you get more of a natural performance, right? Um, it puts yeah. you in a different different place where you're not thinking about it as much, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think it's, yeah, I, I, for me, uh, my, my dream, it would be that that no one think I'm an actor. So it's, it's a contradiction. I, 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 it's my memory is correct, I think. Uh, I read something similar in one interview with Robert De Niro, meaning that uh, obviously he loved. I mean, uh, he appreciated all the all the recognition you know, and all the all the all the awards. So blah blah would be no. But at the same time, he would love to be anonymous to make yeah. the the next role. But see, but see, it's a contradiction because you are a good actor, so the, you are going to work and people are going to know you. It's it's it's, it's the contradiction of the actor in one way. I think all the actors, and when I say all, I would say all, even Daniel Lewis, even Javier Bardem. I, I, I think I can talk in the name of everyone. We love being a warrior, man. We love that. The, obviously, the fame could be something disturbing, something uh, turbid, even sometimes, but, but we love recognition. This is the way we are. Yeah. But, but, but in some way, yeah, it's true. It's true that yeah, you are losing something, something that, that uh, because being anonymous is, 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 is the dream. The dream of the actor is disappear into the character. I know it's typical, but oh, I, it's promise you, I promise you it happened. And, and I, can, I, I want to tell you some anecdotes that's happening with you. I, I made a work here that changed my career here in Spain, which is, I would say successful here in Spain. I, I, I made a film. We went to Toronto to the festival. Uh, uh, the name of the film was Dark Blue, Almost Black. And I won my first uh, Goya Award, which is the, the, the Oscar, the Spanish Oscar, as a, as a supporting role. And I remember we did, you know, I was shooting the movie and I was all the time, you know, because I made, a, a, my role was a man in prison. So I remember I, have a, I went to prison here in Spain, I have interview with people, with prisoners. I had letters. So I made a big, a big a, 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 and I remember all the time, this is how I found this, I have the final fucking prison, blah, blah, blah. All my aspect, I had all, all my, my hair completely cut, blah, blah, blah. When I saw the movie, I began in, I, 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 I became in deep depression because, because, because I, I saw myself. Do you know what I mean? So, oh, wow, in yeah. Myself, in myself, dressing like that, every, 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 uh, everyone is going to discover that this is a fake. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Uh, wow. and, 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 and after that, I was a, a totally awarded in Spain. All the awards in Spain, I won all the awards. So, so the people buy that. 
And that day I understood that becoming the cartel is a dream, but it's impossible. It's like the horizon, no? It's like the horizon. The horizon is uh, an utopy, no? Uh, it's, the utopy is, is, is an excuse to keep walking, but you are never going to reach it. I would say the same as the character. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Sorry, man. I, 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 sorry for the speech. No, that's great. It's absolutely great. <laughs> and it actually leads me into, I want to talk about other characters in the film as well and the rest of your cast. I mean, Edward James Olmos, uh, Carmen Mara, pa Paz Vega, uh, and newcomer Michael Crisofoli as Zavino. Um, yeah. Who plays the character both young and old, which is, uh, or young and older. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Which is really fascinating. Um, and yeah. what I enjoyed was that the cast very much came across as an authentic family on screen, even with the struggles that were being depicted. Um, how was it working with such a talented cast? Yeah, 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 yeah. I would say that keeping the same path that we take the conversation, meaning, you know, that uh, frontiers of the line between reality and acting. Yeah. Uh, the truth is obviously when we are in promotion, all we say, oh, the thing's great, the crew is great, we love each other, but you know, sometimes it's, 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 it's a lie. In this, not, not this case, I would say, um, the chemistry, the chemistry happens. Absolutely. It's, it, it doesn't happen, oh, 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 so sorry, but it's happened, it's great. I would say it happens uh, here at, at the crew. We were, Obviously, Edward James almost is a legend in the, sure. the worldwide cinema. Uh, but the rest of the crew, Spanish crew, uh, we didn't, I think, I think it was the first time with, uh, we were together, except King Gutierrez, my brother's role, mm -hmm. which I, I've been working with him in Spain, but not with Pat Vega, not with Carmen Maura before. A short sure. role, but a lot of years ago. And we have a lot of, uh, a sort of family where we were in touch. I think we can feel that. But I will tell you something. Edward Jean Solmos, I don't know, if you, have, you, have you interviewed him some, uh, once? I have not spoken with him yet. He is amazing. I mean, I mean, he is friendly, lovely, charming. Wow. Do you know, because, because I remember the, the, the role of Gaff in, 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 in Blade Runner uh, or in America. Um, ah, was, yeah. I, I will remember the, another movie that he did. Sure. Amazing. American. I remember and Castillo, and Castillo. Do you remember? I this, don't. She, really? How do you know? I am not off you the top are, of my head. No, you, you know, are too young. He's my you know what's crazy? Vice. And tell you, he, he's no, someone. Sorry. He's an actor that when I see him on screen, I immediately recognize him. I remember him from so many films, but also struggle to name which ones because he's just always a consistently fantastic performer. The, don't worry, I, I'm here to, to help you out. I mean, <laughs> he, he's, he's, he's memorable. I mean, a, a, a amazing job in Blade Runner. It's a short role, but it's absolutely disseminating in, in all the all that's happening in the movie. It's like he's starting and ending the cycle of the story of the arch of the movie. Yeah. And, 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 and a, a very, very famous show, I think, uh, even in America, it was made in America, Miami Vice, yes. with uh, Don Johnson, and, and and he made the role of Lieutenant Castillo. Yes, but he was a very, very important supporter. But coming back to the thing, I said, you have the, the, the image of a very tough man, like, oh, Father Jim Somo. I, I remember, wow, is what happened is if, I, if he, uh, he don't like me, wow. <laughs> and she's absolutely the opposite. And I remember the connection. And he told me something I want to share with you because I think all the people that love cinema would love to know this anecdote. In Blade Runner, he always put a piece, you know, an unicorn on a, or such as a little pieces. Oh, always, uh, do you remember Blade Runner? I do. Um, the first, I mean, I mean in, in all the scenes that his character appears, he put one piece, was uh, one piece over the table, that meaning I've been here. And, it, and it's a clue for us, you know, that, that Harrison Ford character, uh, he's, he's been chasing, chasing, you know, the wonders, chasing by, 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 by him. It wow. wasn't, I tell you something, it wasn't in the script. It wasn't in the script. 
it's happened when I seen that it was Harrison Ford talking to another man and, and, and really Scott. Well, and he was in another table, like like you know that that guy that is paying attention, blah blah blah. <laughs> and he and he took some some I don't know how to say it in English, no, some some little pieces of wood, you know, that is for for this word. And he began to uh, put it into pieces and making something. And really, Scott saw that and say, "Wow, well, did it, do it, do it again because I'm going to shoot." And from now on. Everyone that your car trust appreciates me, I want you to be doing this. Wow. And the last scene, that one scene, it was a, there was a scene that was shoot apparently it was related. Yeah. And when and, and you see the Ridley Scott cat who was appears as an unicorn, you know, like the dream of being alive, blah, blah, blah. And and the last piece that um, little piece that um, the, the gap the character of Edward James Small put over the table, that means I've been here and I I have uh forgiven the life of, of 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 the role of her is an unicorn and, and it was in the script it was a edward is almost creation wow so that's i mean hey that's so curiosities of cinema you know you know sometimes the most memorable uh, times in cinema is wasn't in the, it, it was it wasn't on the script it yeah. happened you see this is the reason for for so you know, I would say that a movie is something. It's like the wines, something alive. It's something that it's a constant process of creation. Yeah. Even 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 I remember a, a good a good writer Umberto Eco. Have you uh, Umberto Eco was a, a semiotic, a very very important. Okay. He 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 wrote the book of in the name of the rose, and it was a movie in the eighties or in the nineties with some Connery, uh, an international cast, and he used to say. There are so many books as, a, as a readers. Wow. And I would say that with cinema, I would say that, that there are so many movies as uh, spectators. Sure, that certainly makes sense. Yeah. Um, so talking about Edward is one thing. I want to talk about the other end of the spectrum here with Michael uh, as such a young actor. Yeah, well, that's amazing. For me, the best. I He's thought best. he was fantastic in his role. Yes. Um, but yes. he is a young actor. Do you find yourself you know, guiding young actors on set or what kind of advice do you give them? Yeah. Because again, his performance is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, you, have, you have that. I would say that in English, play, meaning, you know, how can I explain you? In Spanish, we have the the, the verb actuar, no? It's play, it's to play. Okay. But to, to play kids is jugar, it's another verb. We don't have the same verb for that, but you have, <laughs> maybe for a reason. And I say, I used to say that when I was so, 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 you know, the, the people that they, they, uh, speak English, they use same verb to, for kids, the kids are playing and the actors are playing. Because I would say that act, uh, acting is the, the art of playing. <laughs> so also in, 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 for that reason, I would say Michael Christopher has a, as a kid that he was, because now he's such an agent. When I tell you something, I was impressed because I haven't, I haven't been involved in the shoot on the, in the second part of the movie. Sure. And when I said, man, what's that? I can show you, I have a, a picture, I don't have fear, but I have the, in, my, in my mobile, we have a picture of the last day, you know, we are together like, like dad and, and son. So yes, he grew up and, and he was absolutely natural. Um, it wasn't easy for him, you know, because in some way we, we have his language to talk back. We were Spanish, uh, another country, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like sure. in some way cultural could be a barrier, but it wasn't. So everything was great. And the chemistry, I would say for, for me, my opinion, I don't know what the, who, who would say, but the, the chemistry for me was great. Oh, absolutely. I, I said this earlier with the family in general, but everything was very authentic and you felt like that relationship with, was real. Um, and especially with you and Michael, it was just, it definitely works for the film. And I think goes yeah. to, uh, to strengthen the story that, uh, you know, we talked a little bit earlier that we find out later sort of what's really bubbling behind the scenes. Um, yeah. But that suspense is kept up by the relationship and the, you know, the back and forth between Michael and his father, Michael's character and his and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. actor. Yeah. Um, yes. Well, I guess looking at Chasing Wonders and is I noticed uh, one of my questions was about the 
you know, how beautiful the visuals are in the film and especially where you were able to film, but also recognizing that you weren't in the second part of the, you know, the filming here. What, what was yeah. it like to film on scene? Um, because it just, it translates so well to the finished project uh, or product and looks absolutely stunning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the work of the director of photography was really, really great, really great. I was impressed when I saw the movie, yes. You know, because as an actor, you don't know, you don't know it's, I mean, you can have any, I don't, you, I, I don't like to go to see the, the scene after shooting, sure. I think, because I think coming back to, to the beginning of our conversation, I, I, I don't think, I'm, I'm totally sure that the actor ha, ha, doesn't have to be very conscious. So you want to see what's going on happen here. You have to be let just happen and, and, and being confident. I, yesterday I read uh, something about why Tarantino is probably, Quentin Tarantino is probably the last uh, director, I mean, in a star, no? a, a worldwide star as a, as a director. And, for a lot of, of things. And one of them is he used to, to be confident in the crew. I mean, meaning so so the director of therapy, you do the job. I mean, I mean, I would I would define a good director like a like a captain. So you you have to know that you you have something the overall, which is a lot, the overall point of view, and and I let the people do uh, their job. In some ways, it's something this is the you know something that's in, in, a, in a lot of different movies, I, I mean, a lot of different roles. And I always like to, to have a coach, meaning, uh, for example, you have to make to play a role of a tailor. Mm -hmm. I would like to have some place for real life and make here as a cop. I used to have cops that stay here, you know, <laughs> help me out. But I like to go to do the things like real. Sure. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so, so, so a lot of different people, different professions coming out with me to, to, to the, to the set of shooting, all, absolutely all, when I say all, no exception, were totally impressed about how like a perfect machinery works the cinema. I don't know, like that moment when they, when the makeup is doing the last, uh, um, taking the time, so, and the, and the microphone is putting together, blah, 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 an action, and the magic appear. It's amazing. All the people yeah. are impressed. I don't think so much about it because it's my job, you know, it's like, sure. but people say, wow, people say, wow, you work a lot, man, wow. <laughs> and, 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 and everyone has to know what to do in the proper moment, what to do. We are like ants, you know, like yeah. ants. And we have to know our function. So, I mean, I mean, I mean making, I would say making cinemas is the art to do when you have to do where you have to do and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and what you have to do. It's, you know, aside from the story itself being so beautiful, I have seen the, the picturesque landscapes of Australia yeah. and Spain is just stunning. Um, but again, I mean, I think the message is within the film and the themes within the films are just a, within the film itself is they're just as stunning. Um, yeah. what, what do you hope audiences take away from Chasing Wonders? Say again, say again. What do you hope that audiences take away from Chasing Wonders? Uh, it's interesting. Um, hopefully, they, they were captivating about or being reflected about 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 how difficult it is is to love and be loved. Mm. The both, I think, are difficult, gotcha. and, and and to forgive yourself your mistakes. You know, I'm, I'm thinking probably, probably because this is in the age that I am, it's, it's just a, and I, I think I am beginning to forgive all the mistakes that I did in my past. Because I remember when I was young, when were you young or, or younger, if you let me, uh, I was all the time absolutely concerned about what to do and how to do and, and how to do the things now. And, and some, sometimes we just, I think, I think we have a deficit or 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 sentimental uh, education, emotional education, and we don't know how to live, how to have empathy with the others, how to love. I think I think if the movie in some way could be inspiring for thinking about how to love and how to live and how 
Yes. How to try to 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 move on? Oh, I would like very 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 happy, very satisfied. Absolutely. Forgiveness is such a a a thing that we For, don't often practice. Forgiveness is a verb. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's <laughs> a word. It's a word. <laughs> to forgive is a verb. Yeah. And Tano, it's been absolutely fantastic chatting with you. Where can people see you next? What's next outside of uh, you know chasing wonders? Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. What, where are we gonna? Where can we see you next? Um, um I don't know. Maybe uh, let me think. I think I have I have a upcoming project that I shoot in 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 Belgium in Brussels oh, wow. called in French Entre la vie et la mort. Uh, and, and it's going to be released uh, probably, uh, hopefully, in uh, the first, uh, the, the beginning of next year. Um, and yes, now I'm just with the kids, trying to, to forget a lot. <laughs> Very good. The kids, you, you have to, I know, understand you have to go pick up from school, right? So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. It was a, it was I will a hint. go there. I wa it was a hint. No, <laughs> well, Chasing Wonders is out now in limited theaters uh, in, in the U.S. It's available to rent or buy on Apple TV, Fandango, and other streaming platforms. So I very oh. much enjoyed it and hope that other people check it out. And once again, I thank you for your time this morning. Yeah, don't pirate the movie. Don't pirate the movie, please. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Antonio, take care. And yeah, you too. Kisses. Thank, thank you. you very much.